Welcome to the Awaken on Purpose podcast, where each week you'll hear inspirational stories of heart-centered leaders who have awakened to their higher purpose and taken that leap of faith to follow their heart and make an impact in the world. Get ready to be enlightened, empowered, and transformed with your host, Jennifer Spore. Welcome as a guest to the show today, Susan Brown. She's a spiritual mentor, intuitive healer, and channel. Her gifts are to empower and guide people to connect to their higher self and guides. Susan also provides spiritual guidance and shares how to live a life you were meant to have. Susan, I'm so excited to have you here. Welcome. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I am very excited to be here and chat with you and share what I've learned over the years. I can't wait. I know our listeners are going to love it too. Susan, I know this is a big question, but what inspired you to do the work that you're doing today? Well, I think it, it starts, first of all, many years ago. When, when I was younger, I always had this thought of that... Um, I heard my my spirit guides, my guardian angels. I always had this intuitive thought. I really, at night, I was also shape-shifting um, when I went to sleep, except I never knew that it was um, different. You know, it was just my life. So I really figured everybody else had the same abilities that I had. And... Then as I grew up, I got married and I had a child and then I I got divorced. Um, My life was very good. I was a restaurant. I had many, many restaurants. And I realized that I was a healer, that this was part of my, my purpose. I ended up going to see a woman and she goes, you're an energy worker. And at that time, I really, there was nobody around like new age, that type of thinking. I didn't even know what energy was. So I started on my path really from there. And I studied Reiki. I studied absolutely everything. And I ended up going to study uh, in Peru. Um, with a shaman. And it was just, it just things just kept on coming to me. And I really knew that this, this was, this is what I was put here in this lifetime for. And it's really, uh, it's, it's been an amazing journey, just following um, guidance, uh, exactly, you know, what is next for me to learn. And I always love learning. So that's 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 uh how i started i love that i love learning as well susan can you tell us a little bit more about what you do as a healer okay well let's see my my joys are really to help people connect to their spirit guides i work with a lot of uh shamanic work Uh, healing with the plants, healing with the trees, a lot of energy work. And most of my work is really when I work with somebody is intuitive guidance. So I really go on what spirit guides me to what they need at that time. So I've done a lot of different um, modalities like I was saying, like Reiki, Theta Healing, Voice Channeling. And what I've done is really taken 15 years of experience and learning and all different modalities and have really made it into my own. I love that. Um, And and especially that you bring up that point, you know, about taking all of what you've studied and learned and making it your own. Um, There are a lot of, so I work with a lot of people who are at that crossroads in their life. Um, 
getting ready or in the process of making some of those type of changes in terms of aligning with their path. And a lot of people initially question themselves about what they're really meant to do because they kind of look around them in their external environment. And if they don't see that what they're feeling called to do exists, they hesitate to do it. But I really feel like we are in a time now more than ever where new creations are meant to be birthed in the world and new types of healing, new approaches to healing and and various practices. And imagine, you know, if all the greatest innovators of our time and history, you know, decided not to move forward because they didn't see anyone else doing what they were doing. Um, Right? Wouldn't that be crazy? Yes. You know, that's that's very interesting that you said that because um, uh, it was quite a few years ago, but when I realized that this was my path, I did take uh, a class. It was a year long class um, to study to be a shaman. And I had a restaurant at that time. I still had a house. I still had all these things. And after the class, I was like, I really want to study with a shaman, you know, a not, not like a real shaman. I wanted to study with a shaman and I knew that was my path. And I signed up first for three months to study in the jungle doing plant tree spirit medicine. And I was telling people as I was selling my restaurant what I was doing. And, and they really, they, some thought I was a little crazy, but I knew deep down in my heart that this was my path. And no matter, you know, what you think, if you go into your heart and really ask, you know, is this what I want to do? That's, that's the best way to, you can do it is like, you know, following your intuition, listening, and, and then taking the step, which a lot of us, you know, have a hard time doing. But once you take that step, taking that first step, I took that first step and I never went back. And things just kept on coming to me and I kept on seeing things. So sometimes even if you really don't, you know, it's, it's all about the journey. I think it's not about where you're going. It's about the journey and, 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 going there and enjoying that piece. So I figure once you take that step, then everything is shown to you. So that's so true that oftentimes we do receive that clarity only once we've taken an action forward. That's what faith is all about, right? You know, belief in the unseen. (laughs) Right. And, and that's really where I work with people now is really being able to open up to that guidance and, and hear that guidance and, and, and follow, follow your path to whatever your, whatever your soul path is, is to be able to hear it and understand it and follow through with it. And, and I do believe that everybody has, has these abilities you know, it's not that um, I'm any different than anybody else. I, I followed my passion and I, you know, and I worked at it. And I, I believe everybody, everybody is intuitive and everybody can hear their guides. And I believe that people can heal, heal themselves, you know, and I, My passion is to empower people to be able to be their their own guides and get their own answers in their lives. And if we could get to that point of looking within, it's so much easier to go further because you, you know if it feels right or it doesn't feel right. I believe that too. We actually, it sounds like we do similar work. (laughs) I help people (laughs) learn how to recognize their intuition as guidance. I help people to discover their intuitive gifts as well. I really do believe that, you know, everybody 
everybody has those. It's just a matter of tapping into them. Yes. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yes. Susan. It really, it really is a joy to be able to empower people that way and, and just see them on their journey or years later where they are and what they're doing and how they found their path. And it's just, it's, it's a great life. It really is. It really is. It really is the best feeling to be able to empower others in that way, you know, to uh, create the reality that they want for their lives. I really find a lot of joy in it as well. Susan, every experience in our lives shapes who we are. What experience in your life do you feel has been the most significant in shaping who you are today? Well, I guess I would have to say when I went to Peru and I studied with a shaman and I did uh, plant tree spirit medicine, that was the most heart opening experience. I really learned how to work with energy and, and really help people. And there, there, you know, there are so many experiences that I had in the, the jungle. Um, I did use the uh, medicine ayahuasca. I learned how to use tobacco as a healing, the essence of plants. I use the essence of plants for healing, which, which I, I use these days. And I have to say, I learned how to live without electricity, without running water, I I really learned how to um, I I knew what it was like to not have any food if you know you know you could say that you know I'm hungry but I really knew what it was like to not have food because I was in the middle of the jungle and there were days where I was very hungry and um, working with people and uh, just really opening up my heart and I happened to of course uh, the shaman that I was working with. He, he was such a, a balanced of male and female energy. And he really taught me how to work from the heart because no matter whoever we worked with, he always came from his heart, no matter what, when they left, you know, the area, they, they really received what they needed. And he was probably the one that really, really shift my life. As you're sharing that, I can really feel that energy. I mean, how much that opened you up. It, it did. When I, when I first went there, I said to him, I said, I, I would like to be a shaman. And so he's looking at me like, really? <laughs> but after a while, it was, it, was, it was an amazing experience. And he really realized that I, I was dedicated and, and that's, that's what I was there to do. And he was there supporting me um, for the first three months. And then the next three months I went back and you know how you, you go back and you, you have a, an idea of what the, what it's going to be like. Well, it wasn't exactly what I thought, but I, um, one part I almost died because uh, of malaria. And then the other part was that I really got to work with clients. He really just gave me the opportunity to work with clients that were coming into the center and also people that were studying to be a shaman. So I spent three months as his apprenticeship um, doing that. So. There were, there were a lot of experiences and it was, it was amazing. There are a lot of other people out there right now, especially right now with everything that's going on in our current world climate that are feeling that call to, to do more, to make a bigger impact. What advice would you have for those people to be able to take action today? Well, I'm, I'm big on meditation. 
<laughs> my one teacher said meditation, meditation, meditation. And that was like 10 years ago. I really didn't understand it, but meditation does help. I have, I have three principles that really help me to like spiritually align. And part of it is clearing your energy. So you are just in your own, own mind because you know, um, you know how we get so into what other people think. So I believe in, in clearing your energy. I also believe in grounding your energy. So this way you have a good foot on, you know, you're not like airy, so you're not out there. I believe in protecting your energy. And there are many different ways you can think about protecting your energy. And with all those is you're, you're able to really understand and you become more spiritually aligned. And I feel when you're at that place, you can really know where to go where you want to go and move forward in your life and if you always come from your heart and you listen and take time that's the best way i i think that you can really move forward is that inner guidance it's all about the inner guidance it really is and meditation is a practice right because so many people you know say oh i've tried meditation i can't do it well you know it takes consistency and commitment to learning how to center yourself you know and quiet your mind and and really go within i believe anybody can learn how to do meditation <laughs> I, I totally agree, Jennifer, because what, so what I think also meditation, uh, when I work with people is meditation could be many, and, and I'm sure you know, meditation can be many different things. Meditation, you could, I do a spirit walk in the morning where I connect to spirit and it, I walk for miles and, and connect. You can do meditation. There's, you know, um, the audio meditation. I believe gardening can be meditation. Uh, I was once in a deep meditation when I was cutting up like 10 pounds of squash. So it's, it's really finding what works for you. And if you find something that's 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 great because most people think that you know meditation you have to sit there and and not think about anything and not move for me when i meditate is really my time when i get my guidance i mean i quiet my mind but then i'm listening so if everybody could understand that Meditation could be so many different ways that it, you know, it, it's not a one stop thing. You know, it's you don't have to just, you know, sit there and not think. But I, I also believe, like you said, it's something that you need to do consistently. It's a muscle. It is. You know? It's exactly like working a muscle. Susan, how can someone find you? Where is the best place for them to connect with you if they want to learn more about what you're up to? Well, I have my Facebook page, which is Pathway into Oneness, which I share a lot of things on. I'm also sharing with everybody, I have an ebook. It's um, Jumpstart Your Life. And it has rituals. It shows you how to connect to Mother Earth. There are channeled messages, messages that I channeled. And um, that, that's a great way to uh, learn how to connect to your guides. And then I also have, I'm offering to ask a question. It'll be a time with me, it's a half hour. The, re the reason why I'm doing this is because years ago, I had so many questions. Um, I'm, I always have so many questions. I should be called the question girl. I have so many questions and I want people to have a place where they can ask their questions about spirituality or any way that they want to move forward in their lives. Because sometimes like people have dreams or certain feelings or how do I open my third eye or how do I ground? So 
that's that's why I'm offering that. So I'm sure you're going to have the link on there and they can connect with me and ask a question on spirituality. That's wonderful. I'm sure there are going to be several people that will want to reach out to you and we'll be sure to include that information in the show notes as well. Susan, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to be a guest on the show, but also just for all of the work that you do and, and what you're doing to uplift humanity. So appreciated. Thank you very much, Jennifer. I can feel that. That was beautiful. And I appreciate you having me here. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Awake and On Purpose podcast. Please visit us and subscribe to the podcast at awakeandonpurpose.com so you never miss an episode. To learn more about how you can connect with your higher purpose and take that leap of faith to make your impact in the world, visit us at jenniferspor.com. And while you're there, be sure to join our email list for exclusive offers and a weekly dose of inspiration.